hammering down and reiterating the perspective. My perspective, Ukraine is not, and is not going to win. Definitely not when you dynamically define the conditions, the victory conditions or defeat conditions. Victory conditions of dislodging Russia and, and restoring the initial borders or the pre-Crimea situation, was that around 2014 or so? Returning to the pre-Crimea status quo is not happening. And this land corridor is unlikely to budge. So in by defining victory in terms of territorial restoration. That's not going to happen, in my opinion. But the main point of the Ukraine-Russia situation is that, again, let me hammer this down so there's no ambiguity. If so, so you have this rhetoric saying the Chinese want peaceful reunification, so-called reunification. There's nothing to unify with because they were never one country. But let's point this out. Let, let me hammer down the point so fools who don't understand military science, who don't have military science training, can comprehend. If Taiwan was connected to China like Tibet is by landmass, Taiwan is finished in 72 hours. The reason, so you have people saying Taiwan is like Ukraine, they are not. The Tibet Taiwan example, if Taiwan was either a Ukraine as it is to Russia, if Taiwan was a Tibet connected to China by landmass, Taiwan is finished. The reason why Taiwan is independent today is not because the Chinese want peaceful resolution. If, if Taiwan was connected by landmass, Taiwan is finished in less than 72 hours. So. When people say Ukraine is similar to Taiwan, Taiwan is similar to Ukraine, they're talking about this nonsense. We're freedom, we're democracy, we must defend democracy. This is complete. That's complete trash politics. It all boils down to terrain and military science. And we hammer it down again, Ukraine isn't winning. When, And we said this before, when Ukraine is winning, we're going to say Ukraine is winning, but, we, but we're not going to say Ukraine is winning because they're not winning.